So I made a video a while back called Why You Should Play Vladimir If You're Low Elo. Now, for some completely fucking unknown reason to me, this video ended up becoming my most popular video to date. So I thought, why the fuck not? There are lots of stupidly easy champs that apply the smackdown to low elo players. I got a whole fucking list of them right here. So hold on to your silver five badges, boys, and stop playing that Lee Sin, Vayne, Azir, Riven, or anything that requires even the smallest amount of skill. I'm about to show you why you should play Malzahar if you're low elo. Now, climbing in League of Legends is all about exploiting the enemy's mistakes while minimizing your own. And holy fuck does Malzahar punish mistakes. The first reason why you should play Malzahar if you're low elo is the same as in my Vladimir video. Nobody itemizes correctly in low elo. Magic resist glyphs? Fuck no, cunt. Gotta get those AD glyphs for my mid Varus. I totally am not a slave to the LCS. Abyssal Scepter? That shit only gives 70 AP. Fuck that. I need two more death caps on my Diana mid. With Malzahar, you punish enemies with 30 MR better than anyone else. Just build these two fucking items, take these runes, and you melt everyone's fucking face off. The reason why this works is because Malzahar literally has the best base damages on his basic spells of any champion in the fucking game. I mean, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Yeah, sure, he has an 80% AP ratio on both his Q and E, but the base damage is so high that early on you don't even need that fucking AP. Just stack Magic Pen and full combo their squishies. I mean, look at this dumb cunt, thinking he can do something as audacious as farming in my presence. Well, fuck you, Mr. 32 Magic Resist Varus. You ain't doing shit. The second reason why you should play Malzahar if you're low elo is that he punishes positional mistakes harder than that 12 year old on Xbox Live punish your mama's asshole last night. Now, this is a double edged sword, however. Yes, if any one motherfucker on the enemy team steps even slightly out of line, then it's fucking extinction time. But, at the same time, you better keep your ass back. When you play Malzahar, imagine yourself as a crazy screaming bitch. Now, if you're smart about being a crazy screaming bitch, you're not gonna stand right in the face of a big burly guy screaming at him, because he's gonna suck you right in that pretty face of yours. Instead, you're gonna stand behind the big burly guys who are white knighting for you, and scream at him from a distance. That's how you position as Malzahar. Be the smart crazy bitch, not the dumb crazy bitch. When a team fight starts, put away your fantasies of ulting the enemy ADC and being the hero of the fight. You are the bitch. Know your place. You sit your ass on that back line and wait for the enemy front line to engage. Then you scream in his fucking face. This is much easier to do because of your W, which is really shit early on and not something you should put a point into until you max out your E. But late game, holy fucking shit. Does this thing melt faces? Kill the enemy's frontline tank, and then have yours rush in to clean up. How to play Malzahar? Be the crazy bitch. Now I know what you're thinking. Chimso, if Malzahar is so hard to position with, why should I play him in low elo? I fucking suck and can't position for shit. Well, time to learn. Getting out of low elo is not just about learning how to kill shit. It's about learning how to actually play the game, and positioning is a huge part of it. Malzahar punishes poor positioning on your part super hard, so play him. Play him a lot, and every time you die, figure out why you did it. And don't do it again. It's really that fucking simple. But Chimso, the enemy can just build QSS. Motherfucker, you're in low elo. Nobody is gonna build QSS. I'm in fucking plat, high plat, and these speds don't even build MR, let alone a fucking QSS. Stop worrying about that shit. Just melt faces with this fucker before he eventually gets reworked. Now onto the boring shit. Take these runes, these masteries, and after you grab your sork boots and haunting guys, build a Rylai's. Don't fucking build Rod of Ages. This is a shit item on Malzahar. You want a Rylai's because of its passive, which allows you to punish positional errors even more effectively. After that, get a death cap, and then build whatever fucking AP items you want. Getting raped by their front line because you can't position for shit? Zonya's bitch. Enemy finally realizing you're a threat and building MR? Void Staff. At some point, grab yourself a Morellos or Athenes, depending on whether or not they have any significant AP threat. Since you don't go tier Aurora, you sacrifice mana for raw damage, so make your spells count. Once again, when the late game team fights come, sit at the back and full fucking combo the first thing that comes into your range, even if it's the enemy tank, doesn't matter. You excel at absolutely destroying one motherfucker on their team and allowing your team to clean up. So there you go. That's why you should play Malzahar if you're low elo. Still skeptical? Well, that's fine. 
Don't believe me. Just watch. <laughs> Own it.